beautiful red snapper, a very mild fish, but it would work with any sort of mild fish. You could do this with tilapia, certainly. And this is a fun dish. It's a fish Veracruz. Kids love it because it looks and tastes like salsa. It doesn't look and taste like fish when you're done. So we have a very mild flavored fish, a dab of flour that I seasoned the heck out of. We have coriander and cumin, a beautiful pairing. Cumin is smoky, coriander is bright. Mexican oregano, a little bit of nutty flavor from sesame seed, and a little bit of chili powder. I like ground green chili powder. It's mild to moderate heat, but you can use any chili powder you have in the pantry. Mix that together in a dab of flour, lightly dredge the fish just to give it a little color and crisp it up. And then you're gonna throw it into a skillet in a touch of olive oil over medium to medium high heat and let it brown. It's gonna start to curl up. So as the fish browns up, keep pressing it down with a fish spatula to keep it from curling up. I'm gonna brown this on both sides and then we're gonna take the fish out and make a quick, delicious salsa style sauce. You pour it all over the top of the fish, they'll eat it up like a plate of nachos. It's delicious. I'm gonna keep an eye on the fish. I'll meet you right back here in a couple and we make it sauce. Any mild fish will do. Brown it up. I seasoned up a tiny bit of flour with, uh, the fish got seasoned with salt and pepper, then the flour gets cumin, coriander, chili powder, sesame seeds, Mexican oregano, all mixed in. Brown it up, take it out, and then make the quick, warm salsa sauce. So delicious. I mean, I'm dying over here. It's so good, it's so good. <laughs> Don't forget to download Bob's delicious spaghetti squash casserole. Oh my God, we ate buckets of that. Take it out, put it on a warm platter, throw in some red onion. I'm gonna grate in some garlic. I threw in a bay leaf, fresh or dried. And you're just making a quick, warm salsa. Garlic, onion, bay, touch of olive oil. Then we're gonna add our tomatoes. Check this trick out, Bob loves this the one. The coolest trick ever. You put your cherry tomatoes in a deli cup lid, take another lid, put it on top, cut straight across and it halves all the tomatoes. So in go all of your cherry or grape tomatoes. We'll crank this heat so we can serve it up super quick. Throw in a little fresh thyme. Throw in a little cilantro and flat leaf parsley. Now, some people don't groove on cilantro. Just leave it out. If you don't like it, I'm not gonna force you. My husband loves it and he calls it verdant. Every time I use it, he's like, I love cilantro, it's so verdant. I'm like, yeah, whatever, SAT. <laughs> um, so then, then you're gonna throw in a couple of uh, green olives with pimentos, yum. yum. I love olives. Me too, a little salt, yummy, yum, yum. Throw that down in there. And this sauce is delicious on any lean protein or even grilled portobellos or tofu. You can put it on anything, it's delicious. A few pickled jalapeno peppers and their juice, a few tablespoons of their juice. Nice and spicy. And then last second, you hit it with a touch of lime juice. I mean, look at the color in there. It's gorgeous. And you just spoon this down over the fish. So oh, good. Amazing. Amazing. Delicious. Spicy, nutritious, beautiful. You eat with your eyes first and your stomach second, right? So you take your nice lean protein, the crispy skin up or down, whichever you prefer. Pour your salsa verde down over the top. And it tastes like a giant plate of nachos. You could put a couple of charred corn tortillas on the side and let the kids make some soft tacos. So if it's for little kids, if it's for little kids, you could put little corn tortillas on the side. It's still gluten-free. They can break the fish and the veg up and put it inside the little soft taco. They'll love it. Don't you think the kids would eat that? Of course. I mean, it looks so good. It looks like nachos, right? Yeah, I love it. <laughs>